that's not my portion. I'm telling you, it's not why Jesus died on the cross for me, not for me to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Do that thing with your eyes, eyes, eyes. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to another day in the life vlog. So today is Tuesday, August 15th. Yeah, and I'm coming at you live and all my hot messness because we're gonna get my life together um i got a lot of things to do a lot of work i need to catch up on and today is tuesday like i said tomorrow's trash day so it's a clean day as well so y'all gonna come with me because that's why you guys are here y'all want to see what it's really like okay this is a bad angle my bad but um i feel like my life hasn't really been put together since my birthday um i'll link my instagram handle down below because i did do some instagram reels um for my birthday weekend which was july 28th so i didn't really record and i did have like some like footage of stuff but for me it's really hard to record things that aren't organized right like it was like bits and pieces I don't know how to put that together which is kind of like my life I'm trying to put it together so um yeah I want to get ready for the so I am gonna get ready for the day I have some calls that I have to make I have a couple of video phone calls also that I have to do um so we can't look like this. Yeah, we can't look like this. I tried to do like a wig for like a week, which it was okay, but it, a wig really, now I remember why I stopped wearing it. It just doesn't give you the look. So, y'all know what I'm talking about. The wig thing doing it for me. You gotta lay, you gotta lay the, the, the front. It, it's... It doesn't give you the look. So, for those of you that it works for, good for you. The whole laying the wig every single day, the lace, it's just not for me. <laughs> it's not my portion. It's not why Jesus died on the cross for me. So, there's that. I'm going to do, get my face together, change um, some light makeup, and then we're going to start work, work, and I'll explain to you guys kind of what that's like. So... We're gonna run through this real quick.
right, guys, so that's it for my face. I might throw on some mascara, um, if I remember. The mascara that I have here, I actually really hate, so I gotta go in my back room and grab some mascara, if I remember, but I'm gonna go change, because it's almost 10 o'clock, and I usually like to start my day by 10. All right, guys, so I'm changed. I'm wearing my fancy homebody set. I know, but it's better than what you think it is. All right. Okay, guys, so it's 10 o'clock. I'm literally sitting down to turn my computer on. I have my water. Um, usually in the morning for me, I don't do breakfast. I only do breakfast if, like, the kids are up wanting breakfast, then I'll eat it. But I usually don't like to eat breakfast. Like, I'm telling you, my kids, my husband... They're my downfall. They're the reason why I'm not skinny. Because if they eat, I eat. If they don't eat, I don't need to eat. <laughs> I don't need to eat. Trust me, I don't. Um, yeah, so I'm going to turn my computer on right now. I would show you guys my area that I work in. But not that I work in. That I'm working in. But I'm not because it's a hot mess. And I haven't exactly figured out where or how I want my space to be or look like yet. I'm honestly thinking, because I do have a computer desk, but we have a desktop already on it. I'm thinking I might get one of them stand-up desk situations. That way I could bring it with me everywhere. If I want to sit on the couch, I could bring it. If I want to come in the dining room, I could bring it. If I want to go in the kitchen, I could do it. If I want to be on inside on the bed, I could do it. So I could kind of bring it everywhere with me. So that's honestly what I'm thinking that I'm going to get kind of like as a setup. But I gotta go on TikTok. I gotta figure out what the girls say first. Like, I can't just make decisions by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sign into um, the network, put my VPN on, and all that stuff. Okay, so while that is doing whatever it's doing, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this work from home life because. It's popping. I love my job. I love what I do. There is a downfall, obviously, right? Nothing is perfect, so there's always going to be something. The pain ain't that hot for an LPN, okay? I took a major, major pay cut when I took this job. Um, but obviously, so that I can be a remote hybrid um, type of thing. Six, a little minute. Let me seven. So, um, yeah, like I said, I was making well in the six figures prior to at my um, five days a week in person office job, but that doesn't work for me. Um, like I need kind of like my days to figure out what I want to do. Um, I don't want to be on call. Like these things just don't work when you got kids and my kids got a plethora of activities and I need to be around. And I'm not really, like, a 6, 7 a.m. girly. Like, I can't be up, get ready, get myself ready, get bri, bri ready. Like, it doesn't work that way for me. It's just not. Everybody else has their thing. Shout out to y'all. But that's not my portion. I'm telling you, it's not why Jesus died on the cross for me. Not for me to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So, like I said earlier, I usually start my day around 10 o'clock. I am a work-from-home um, nurse case manager. So, basically, what that means is I have... Um, a caseload. My caseload right now is 32. So I have 32 um, clients that I have to see on a month to month basis. I don't see all 32 every month. Some people are a level two. So I see those people every month and I have about 26 of those that are level two. And then the rest of them are level one. So I see them every other month. My job allows me to do six remote visits um, a year. Um, so I just started this job in June. So July was like really my first month kind of starting, starting. So my first one, they kind of let me slide by and just kind of mix it. This month for August, I am seeing everybody in person, but I'm kind of saving my remotes for the winter time. You know what I mean? Because I'm definitely not going out in the winter time. Um, even though everybody's fairly located in the proximity of my area, but still, 
if you don't want to go outside, you don't want to go outside. So um, it's kind of dope in that way. I have many, many planners because just as how I am, I have a planner for my house, for my kids, for my work schedule, for my job, my work schedule, like, um, cause I still pick up through my agency. Like, like I said, I took a pay cut, so we still need to supplement the money somewhere else. So I'm able to pick up shifts here and there at my leisure and what makes sense for me, what I feel comfortable doing, um, which is great. Like I love organizing my own schedule. I love not being really on other people's time. Like it's amazing. This is the life. This is what I'm talking about. Even though I'm working two jobs, I'm working two jobs, but I work three or four jobs, you know what I mean? Because I have many different agencies that I work with, but I wouldn't give it up. I would not give it up. I love how my life is now. I'm less stressed. I'm much happier. My skin is clear, as you guys saw this morning. And um, I advise y'all do it too. All right. If you guys have questions or you guys need some guidance as to how to find these jobs, let me know because I am a serious job finder. Like, I'm gonna, I will let you guys know like the keywords and everything. So let me know if you guys have a hard time. If not, go in your town or your city and look up like nurse case manager jobs, LPN case manager jobs. Honestly, this job was actually for an RN and I still applied. So don't feel like, oh, it's an RN. They, all the worst that they could do is tell you no. That's it. All they could do is tell you no, but there's a chance. Like, this was an RN's job, man. I applied, and I'm not an RN. Not yet, at least. We'll get into that later. Later. I like to make um, a to-do list for my life and a to-do list for my job. So, figuring out who I'm going to call for the day, uh, figuring out appointments, who I'm going to be seeing for this week um, and next week, because... By the last week, I like to sit and do my paperwork. But I, I'm going to try to switch that up, I think, for September. I'm going to try to see everybody within the first two weeks. So the last three weeks, I could really be at home. Um, and when I see my um, clients, I'm usually there for, like, maybe 10 minutes. Maybe. Especially if there's no changes. I'm really there just to kind of just, like, right now, still the beginning phase. So I'm just introducing myself, really. But really, it's like... Five to ten minute visits. If there's no changes, you just I'll do vitals on them because it's a section on my um, nursing note that asks for um, vitals. Sometimes I don't always have to do vitals because they just came off of a doctor's appointment, so I just take whatever's on the paper. But I'm really just a resource for them and making sure I'm making sure that they're maintaining their health, making sure that they're on top of their visits and they're eating habits. And it's like any other nurse case manager job. Um, I have. Um, so I'm the nurse case manager, but then I also have case workers that work under me. So we just kind of, um, coordinate and collaborate care for our mutual clients and just kind of figure out what I can do to help them in any way. But my job is really making sure I gather the information so that I could process like MDSs and prior authorizations. Um, it's heavy on the paperwork side more than like the care side because that's what the caseworkers do right so I just go in kind of as like you know I'm like the setting spray in this okay everybody uh, all the work is already done I just make sure everything sticks together you know what I mean so that's what it is I'm the setting spray in this company so yeah I'm gonna go look through some emails um, make out my list um, that I want to do for the day and yeah we'll see it's not like that crazy. It really isn't. Um, work from home life. It's like you get such a good even balance. Like it's like it's insane. This is a different kind of world. I'm telling you guys. This is like nothing that I've ever experienced in my life. It's 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 really insane. Um, so yeah, let's let's get let's get to making to making these lists and. We're going to be making some phone calls soon. I, it's still kind of early. I usually don't like to wake up anybody um, till about maybe 11, between 11 and 1. I'll start making my phone calls and make my list. And then tomorrow's Wednesday and I'll really start um, doing more stuff. But today's kind of like my prep day. Monday's 
I usually have visits because a lot of people like to be seen on Monday. So I did do some visits yesterday. Um, but yeah, let me make my to-do list and then we'll continue on with the day. Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody else let go Of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I
All right, guys. So, um, I was waiting for an email from um, the doctor's office. <clears throat> that's another thing that's really great about this work from home is that efax. Wow, you never knew how bad you needed efax until right now. Trust me, but um, it's just so convenient. But I got a fax that I was waiting for from last week. Um, so I have an MDS that I need to um, work on today. It shouldn't take me that long, but I do need to contact the caseworker so that I could be able to fill out the paperwork. So that's what I'm going to be um, working on right now. But it kind of sucks. I can't really show you exactly what I'm doing without violating HIPAA. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody trying to lose their saying I don't job. I'm sorry. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, um, I can't really show you guys like exactly what I'm doing, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it's it's like not if you're computer savvy, paperwork that I love paperwork. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm more of an administrative nurse, as I've said that many times before. So I actually love this part of it. Um, so it's really self-explanatory. And I have great training. Like, if I need help, I do, I'm on a call. If I call, like, the, I have, like, the top three people that I can call. Now four. And I'm finding somebody and I'm finding what I need. Like, and they don't, at least for me, they don't leave me high and dry. But I like that they give you autonomy. Like, they're not calling me all the time sending me crazy emails like what needs to get done I know it needs to get done I just need to make sure that it's done if it's not done obviously somebody's gonna call me and be like hey what's going on whatever but I make sure I get my stuff done because I don't want nobody calling me and next you know they're gonna say oh start coming into the office no I'm useful at home and I'm accessible those are the ones that useful and accessible that's all that they care about okay so I'm gonna work on this for Maybe the next hour or two. And then I'm going to check back in with you guys. Hopefully my kids will be up. Um, so that's probably when I'm going to take a break. Make sure they eat. And like I said earlier, today's Tuesday is a clean day. So I'm going to shut everything down for the day. Probably by like 12 or 1 o'clock. Yeah, I know. I know. 10 to ten to 2. Mother's hours. Um, but I have that luxury. And I'm like I said, I'm accessible by phone. So I could jump on the computer at any time. Um, but... Yeah, I think that's it for the work from home portion because I can't really show you guys what I'm working on. Um, so I'll see you guys a little bit later. Today's a really busy day for me. So welcome to another day in the life of a work from home LPN and a stay at home mom. I'm not really a stay at home mom, though, because I work. But we home with the kids. Let's go.